lowest weight was 230. And what do you weigh now? I'm 305. 305. And are you trying to get back down? Of course. Them? I feel like I'm doing everything right in the diet. Yeah. And yeah, people yeah. are that this way all the time. They think they're doing everything right in the diet, and they're not paying attention to their hormones. Maybe they have a hormone that's out of whack. Maybe they're only getting six hours of sleep and they need eight hours of sleep. I wanted to ask you that. Do you, do you take any hormones? Do you do any hormone replacement therapy? No. Have you looked into that? I or? have, and I'm a little scared to mess with it. You, know, you just have to find the right doctor if you're going to jump into something. Well, like like doctors said. is a whole other yeah. story, brother. <laughs> well, that, that's, it's, that's what's, what's difficult about it. Yeah. It's like, so um, I actually, you know, my first movie was all about steroids and, you know, yeah. testosterone and all that. So yeah. I went from you know, somebody who was a gym rat trying to do it that way to like doing it under doctor's supervision. And just like keto, it changes everything. It's yeah. like, you know, doing it under, making sure that you're taking the right dose. I was just right. taking whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever the guy in the gym said that's to right. take or something like that. But yeah, that's, that'd be, and, and what about lifting for you? Um, one of the things I really love, I, I got one of those like big tractor tires in my backyard and I'll, I'll flip that thing about 10, 20 times and it's a full body, um, of course, with my travel schedule, I'm not able to lift as much or as often as I'd like to, but I'm a big fan. Yeah. Right. And then, what's what? How should I incorporate personally? Um, just fasting. Like I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I think if you do keto, uh, you'll automatically fall into a very natural intermittent fast. Mm -hmm. So let's say you wake up in the morning. It's morning time now. You're not hungry. Don't eat. Yeah. And then eat one or two o'clock. And then if you eat enough calories in that one meal. You might be able to skip yeah. dinner, I'm and sorry. you make it to the next day at noon, and you and you fast it for 24 hours. I keep thinking that, but I'm getting like you've helped me actually get over it because the way that I know that is doing uh, reading your book and doing everything I thought that you said. Yep. But going that guy's way over the top. I'm not going <laughs> to test my blood. Like yeah. we don't, you know, nobody needs to do that. And then when I realize when I test my blood, now it's actually driving me crazy a yeah. little bit, and I know it shouldn't. Right. Well, don't know, obsess about it. Um, there's but did definitely you a balance about there. it in the beginning? Well, you ha almost have to at the beginning. Okay, so Because at normal. the beginning, yeah, you might want to test pretty often. But what happens over time is, okay, I know how when I feel a certain way, uh -huh. I'm at a good level of ketones on the ketone meter. I don't really have to test. After a while, you do have a feeling about it when you do it when you've done it a lot. I tested for a whole year, night and day. 2012, 2013. And were you in ketosis the whole time almost? Or? No, but I tried to be. That yeah. was the goal. And so I tested it literally every morning, every night, sometimes every hour on the hour I was doing testing. I was a nerd that year, uh, doing my own self experiment. <laughs> but it gave me so much data that by the end of that year, I was able to know when I was in ketosis pretty strongly, just from like a taste in the mouth, just from like a how I feel and the brain yeah. being so alert. I knew I was producing enough ketones to be therapeutic. People are like, well, I don't feel good after a couple of days. I'm like, really? A couple of days? A couple of weeks? A couple of months? Give it a good 90 days. If you do ketogenic 90 days, you're testing and you're getting good levels of blood ketone levels. You're getting great levels of blood glucose levels. And you don't feel amazing? Stop it. Yeah. Right away. Just stop it. Because something else is going on. You've got to deal with the something else. So don't just look at weight loss. Look at how your brain feels. I'll tell you what, what was really cool for me, I've always had a sharp brain, yeah. but the mood control. Not that I got hot head or angry or anything, but I just felt like so much more melancholy. Yeah. Like we've been at this real intense conference for three days. I'm so chill, man. Yeah, you're just happy, <laughs> happy to be here. And, it, so. and it's the ketones that do that. Yeah. You know, people, I think about... I think you know, just all thought you are a really nice guy. <laughs> that's a little bit, of, that's a part of it though. But I'm a nice guy because the ketones make me, my personality come across that way. I was just talking with someone earlier, you go to like a vegan conference and they kind of have a little bit of an intense problem because they're lacking fat in the diet and it's not getting yeah. to their brain and that's not a diss on them, it's just biological fact. And so I think when you're giving your body what it needs, it rewards you by saying, oh yeah, this is how feeling amazing feels like. You know what's great? I haven't heard that much about you know, using this for like, students to study better like have they studied it for that or anything? i don't think I they don't have looked at it because children generally don't need to be ketogenic yeah they could just probably eat just real food and get a lot of the same benefits uh so they would get low like, levels of like college kids and stuff like that like they're all <coughs> oh getting, man they're all popping these pills and if i had drugs. this in college i would have been the top of my class easily yeah. and i even think about when i was in high school 
I was in the top 20% of my class, but I could have been valedictorian. Where did you go to college? Uh, University of Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee, okay. Yeah. And you've come across like a doctor. <laughs> you know I mean? That's from talking to so many of them yeah. over the years. And that's just where you got your education mainly. Yeah. What was your undergrad in? So my undergrad, I had uh, political science and English. So there's where the writing came in. Write, yeah. yeah, so I always had a passion for writing. I knew I was going to write books for a living. I just didn't know it was going to be help books. Yeah. It's kind of the irony of ironies. Yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing. Right? Like what you end up doing, it's like you never set out to, like, you never sat down and be like, I'm going to be the top selling keto author in the world. Never would have imagined. I would imagine that you are, right? Uh, I am, yeah. Over 100,000 copies.